Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel and another episode of Miniatures Monday. Now, I know longtime viewers are probably going, why are you showing us this again? We have seen your Hot Wheels display case. Uh, you know, uh, did you add some new stuff? Normally we take it out of the case and, you know, look at it up close. Hmm. There's actually not anything new in there, although you will see it's been rearranged a bit because this side now holds model cars. See, I used to have model cars in a bookcase that lived there, uh, but it darkened up the room and you couldn't really see the models. And, you know, this case actually displays them really well. Um, so much so that I like to get another Hot Wheels case and put models in that one too. So that's kind of the rearrangement. You're going, oh, well, where'd the room come from for all these? Because, you know, you got some models and stuff in there, but ha ah, ha ha, there we go. Uh, astute viewers will remember that quite a few weeks ago, maybe even a couple of months ago, uh, I picked up this uh, Hot Wheels display case uh, from my local Facebook marketplace for a great price. And I have finally transferred my collection to it. And yes, I've got my Lego Speed Champions across the top. Um, no more room for those, but that's okay. In case you haven't heard, they're switching those from a six brick across to an eight. Uh, so when you look at the top of the car, there's six pegs, one, two, three, four, five, six. The new ones are going to be eight. So they're going to be, uh, you know, 33% wider. That's going to make them a lot bigger. They're supposed to be able to get more detail out of them, but the cars are going to be so much bigger and so much more expensive. And really, if you have a collection like this already, they're not going to be the same scale, which is super duper annoying. So I will likely not be adding to those anymore. Anyways, back to the display. This is the Hot Wheels display now. Uh, it's not just Hot Wheels, obviously. I'm a big collector of Johnny Lightning, M2, Racing Champions, and Green Light. Uh, and we have stuff from everybody in there. I did say Johnny Lightning, right? Yeah, Johnny Lightning's in there too. So uh, down here, I've got my Road Racers uh, and especially Le Mans cars. And I tried to do them by year order of when they entered. I might have a few of these wrong. Like I think I've got these Alpha Juniors in the wrong spot. Um, but you can see we've got, uh, you know, Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupes, Chaparral. There's the stars of Ford vs. Ferrari, the movie out right now, which, by the way, I went and saw opening night. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it. It is fantastic racing, fantastic cars, great story. A little bit of Hollywood liberties, but not anything you can't live with. So that's the stars of the movie there, though. Of course, Ford GT40 Mark II and uh, the Ferrari 330p3 come down here and we get into the Porsche 917 long tails, Ferrari 512M, Porsche 914, we've got some BMW CSLs and RX3, Corvettes, RX7s, uh, 935 uh, long tail at M1, get into the 962s, uh, the Nissan Skyline from the Silhouette series, and then of course the 787B, this is the car that started our whole channel, our very first video uh, ever on the reboot of the channel from almost a year ago was me actually telling you how to fix the wing on this car. Uh, so if you have one of the Mazda 787Bs with a bent wing, go all the way back to Miniatures Monday episode zero, I think it's actually even called, um, for how to fix that permanently. And you can see, still holding strong here for us. Uh, but the NSX, McLaren F1s, uh, the first reboot of the Ford GT, C6R, Caddy CTSV racer, the new reboot of the 4GT Audi LMS, and uh, the Mercedes AMG that we did the Hot Wheels detail on. There's a Hot Wheels detailing Hot Wheels video on this one showing you how to turn. That is actually a dollar car mixed in here with all of these five, six, and seven dollar cars holding its own just fine. Thank you very much. Uh, the first Hot Wheels detailing one is this one right here, actually, the Autocross Miata. Uh, done up with a little extra stuff to look nice in the case there too. So you can see we've got a couple of Mazdas, a whole bunch of Porsches, and a whole bunch of AMCs up in here. And then this top row were all cars that I have had in the past. So I had a first gen RX-7, a Miata, 944, the Javelin, Fox Body Mustang, the SN95 Mustang, which we recently sold, the Boxster, and Project Bronco. So uh, yeah, we got personal stuff up there, and the AMCs, and the Porsches, and the Mazdas, and the race cars. So these are all my absolutely most favorite cars except for the trans ams and the reason why i didn't put the trans ams in is i really love the look of them in this case with the the trucks and the trailers you know i've got the the open transporter there that matches the camaro and i've got the bre dotson one and i've got 
the really awesome ramp truck for the Boss 302. I, I just, I can't get rid of that display. I definitely want to keep that together. So my Transium stayed in here. Some of my AMC stayed in here that had the boxes and stuff. And then my uh, import stayed in here. And then, yeah, on the, on the model side, I'm not sure you guys have actually seen many of these models. We did a, a showcase of the 55 Chevy Gasser that was printed in Scale Auto Enthusiast all the way back in, what was it, 1995? Uh, so there is a Miniatures Monday video on that. I don't think I've ever showed any of these other ones. I've got a 49 Ford uh, convertible custom that I did for my old neighbor Chuck, the guy with the 59 Buick that we still have to build. Um, I built that for him because that's actually his favorite car. And when he passed away, the family gave it back to me. So these two will always stay no matter what. But I got a, a T-Bird here, two-seater T-Bird that's actually completely turbo coupe swapped. I should do a, a feature video on that one. It's pretty cool. Uh, box stock 62 uh, Catalina Pontiac. We got a uh, 69 Roadrunner Hemi there, our What If car. Uh, it's like a 73 Roadrunner that's been turned into a Superbird. Um, Turbo Coupe, yes, that's right, exactly like uh, our project Turbo Coupe. Actually, nearly identical, same color and same color interior and everything. Uh, but it's actually built off of one of the old ones that you stoned. But anyways, you got a Turbo Coupe already, you got a... Uh, Fox Body Cobra Mustang, first year, the 93, Porsche 904, uh, Scarab, a uh, Datsun Z car rally car, uh, first gen RX7 race car. This is the 24 hours of Daytona winner. Uh, and then a couple of Pro Streets got a T Bird and a Lincoln. So down there is the uh, Fury from the videos and a couple more cars that I still haven't shared yet. I've got model cars everywhere. So you can see why I want to do uh, an turn this case into model cars too. I want to get a case that can hold that display like that instead of the individual cars. I love the individual cars. Don't get me wrong. I need an extra display that can hold those. So if you guys know of where I can get a display like this, um, although like more, more bigger, I'd kind of like to have all the Trans Ams in like one row. So like a long one, it'd be nice to, I've got one more long spot here on the wall. I'd like to do a long case here. Um, but you know, so maybe look just like this it doesn't have to have as many rows, but with no vertical dividers. So I can do those displays. I think that would look really awesome because when you, when you come back, isn't that just super fun? And yes, this is my living room. This is the plays with cars, YouTube channel. Really? Did you expect anything less? Uh, so yeah, we've got all of our die casts and, uh, Lego speed champions displayed. That's the workbench there where we build the models. Uh, all the other models, the planes and the boats and the tanks and the robots and whatnot in there are racing trophies up there, uh, model cars and some more die casts. So that's what's going on on Miniatures Monday uh, here at the Plays With Cars World Headquarters. Got everything all mounted and redone and we hope you guys really like taking a look at the collection. It, it's, uh, it's fun to show off um, to my friends in real life with cars that come by and want to check out what's going on a lot of them will bring something new for the case when they know what i like to collect or if they've got something they want to add my buddy wes brought me uh, quite a few of these import ones uh so it was super awesome to add those the deco toru come, came from him actually so yeah you know when when you like playing with cars you like looking at them all the time and you like having them on display for everyone else you know these spent uh, a lot of years kind of packed away doing nothing and i don't like that i want to look at them and i like sharing them so if you like uh Share them too, uh, you know, throw up a picture of your collection or a video response. I would love to watch them. Uh, any responses at all, I would watch every single response video you guys have of your own collections. I love looking at people's uh, die cast displays and model displays. So, yeah, if you've got one at all, uh, throw it up there and share it with everyone. Share it with the class. I'd love to see it. So, uh, yeah, until next time, that's been the Plays With Cars YouTube channel in Miniatures Monday.